guys and welcome back. I decided to give Sample Society a try. I heard so many good things about it. I decided to give it a try and it came today in the mail. So let me get this little strip open. This is kind of what the box looks like and I cut that but I think this has to come off. This is definitely an interesting box. It's a little more difficult I would say to open than some of the other ones I've gotten but maybe there's like a box inside. I've seen a couple reviews and I think there's actually have really nice boxes if I remember right. Uh, apparently it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, the box hates me. It's official. Let's see. We're going to end up destroying this thing by the end of the video, I have a feeling. Trying to do this one-handed is insane. Perhaps I will actually buy a real camera at some point. But for now, I would rather just, you know, have you guys watch me wrestle with a box. Why not, right? All right, we're getting there. Ha! Got it. See, this is why I should do this when my husband is home, except for the fact that he'd probably kill me for getting another box. Okay, there we go. Ha! I win. Me versus Sample Society, I win. So this is what the box looks like, and I have to say I like the sturdiness of this. I'm definitely going to have to use this during Christmas to re-gift. Um, I keep a lot of my boxes I get from my samples to do that with. So I'm really excited. I actually will be completely honest. I took a sneak peek online. And I'm really excited about the product. And I really think this was worth the $15. And I think this might actually end up being one of my favorites. So this is the Allure for Sample Society 2013. And this is the first thing I see when I open it. And I guess this is like their little magazine that has some information and stuff like that. Most likely it's going in the trash. The next thing that's really cool about Beauty Bar and Sample Society, I guess, are the two different names. But is that they give you a $15 off code when you spend $50 or more, which I think is pretty awesome because I think this actually works on all their sites and they have a bunch of different family sites from WAG to a couple household sites that I was playing on today. So those look really cool. And then there's a list of what I have in here. So let's get started. The first thing I see is from COTZ, Coats Face. It is a balanced mineral complex, supposed to keep you silky soft, sheer matte finish, and helps prevent aging and dark spots. And it's just a little tube like that. So that looks pretty cool. Not familiar with the brand, but we'll see. So the next thing I'm excited about is right here. It is from Burgess. Burgess, I'm not good at pronunciation. But this is a makeup remover. I'm trying to see if I can get this cleared, but the light in here kind of sucks. But this is a makeup remover from them. And I actually just ran out of makeup remover, so I'm excited to try this new one. The next thing in here is from Claudine. Um, I or Claudalee. Oddly, who knows? I got a product from them in my last birch box that I have fallen in love with. And while I will completely admit I probably can't afford it, I'm really excited to have another sample. This is their Premier Crew, and this is another cream lotion. So I'm really excited about that. The next thing in here is a piece of paper that says it's a hydro sheet mask. And I'm guessing this actually goes with what's down here. So we'll get there. We'll just pull this out. Yeah. So it says it's a hydro sheet mask from Hanskin. And I'm excited to try this. I don't know why. I love masks. I like surprising my husband, have him come home. My face is all green or orange or something. And I will admit, I usually go to Glen Ivy. If you've not heard of Glen Ivy and you live out in California, I highly recommend it. They have great masks. Um, but anyway, this is their Hydra Sheet Mask. So I will give this a try and we'll see how that goes. And the next thing in here is this box from Exclude. And it's, it's actually a really nice box. Wow. Um, let's see. And of course it's covered in plastic. They really just want to make this difficult today. I'm going to get the scissors out. See if that'll help. So this is supposed to be a lip gloss stick chapstick thingy mabobber. And yes, that is a technical term in case you were curious. There we go. So you'll see what I mean once I get it open. I'll actually kind of open the whole package so you can see. I've heard a lot of great things about this brand, but have yet to be able to try it. Ha! Second box versus me, and I win. Again, really nice box, definitely getting reused for Christmas. So if you happen to be on the receiving end of this, don't be surprised. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of like a clear plastic here, and there's like a gel inside. And then there's two little holes there, and I guess you just give it a twist. Let's see. I'm guessing I'm twisting that the wrong way. Let's see. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? So righty tighty, lefty loosey. Let's see. Okay, I apparently fail and cannot figure out how to use it. So, and I don't see instructions on the box, which means I really fail. But eventually I will figure this out and I'll let you guys know if it's any good. 
but I have heard really great things about this. And then the final thing in here is from Jane Tryon JT, and I've actually got some of her bobby pens that I really like, and so I was really excited to see if there's some new hair accessories here, and these are really kind of cute, just a nice little pin and a larger size bobby pin. So that was all in my sample society, and really, I mean, if you kind of take a look at everything, I mean, I've got the lip, the nail, the nail, the makeup remover, the hair stuff, the mask here, and then the Claudine and the mineral face for $15. This is really well, really well packaged. It's a really great sample in general. I highly recommend if you haven't tried Sample Society to give it a try. I've heard that all our boxes are pretty awesome like this. Um, and honestly, I live off of samples. Um, I normally don't buy makeup that often. I recently just bought some Tarte products that I ended up trying and loving. But unless I really fall in love with the product, I'm good with trying a bunch of products. So I live off these sample boxes in terms of makeup supplies and a lot of my face stuff. So I highly recommend them. If you have any questions, let me know down below. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great night. Have a good weekend. Bye.